Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is ServiceNow Project Portfolio Management Training. In this training, you will learn about applications in Project Portfolio Management Suite in ServiceNow and learn about managing life cycle of a project in ServiceNow platform. This training is recorded in Paris version of ServiceNow. In this training, you will learn overview of project portfolio management. You will also learn about different applications in project portfolio management like innovation management, demand management, project management, resource management, program and portfolio management, and timesheet. Starting with overview of PPM, that is Project Portfolio Management. In this section, you will learn what is Project Portfolio Management in ServiceNow and what all applications are part of PPM Suite. What is Project Management? Project management is the application of methods, tools, and techniques to achieve new capabilities, meet demands, and respond to organizational changes. If you are working in ServiceNow development team, and you get different development work from your clients and stakeholders, then delivery of that work will be considered as a single project, or it can be multiple projects when you get large amount of work for different modules in ServiceNow. Implementation of ITSM modules will be considered as a project. Implementation of CMDB in ServiceNow will be considered as a project. Now every project has resources, budget, activities, milestones, which are managed by project management application. And ServiceNow provides that application in which you can manage projects and their activities. What is Project Portfolio Management? ServiceNow provides Project Portfolio Management applications, which have capabilities for Project Portfolio Management and IT development to provide a team-centric approach to program and project governance. So basically ServiceNow not only provides an application to manage project, it also provides a suite of applications which supports project management. Applications in Project Portfolio Management So what application come with Project Portfolio Management Suite? The first application is Demand Management. Demand management allows users to capture a centralized view of all of their work requests, including financial and resource data. The demand management process enables a review of demands from key stakeholders for approvals. Next application is project management. Project management supports project manager to plan the project work which can, which can be divided into phases and tasks and also provides project status to stakeholders. Next application is resource management. Resource management application is used to request resources and the resource manager can view utilization, availability, capacity and overall trend for the allocation of resource. And then next is program management. Program management functionality allows the logical grouping of related projects and demands. Then we have portfolio management. Portfolio management functionality allows portfolio managers to track together programs, projects and demands to perform financial planning and monitor the status and progress of the portfolio. Next is ideas which is basically innovation application. Idea application enable users to gather and evaluate ideas and promote accepted ideas to demand, story, epic or project. Then we have time card. 
Time card application enable users to track time on a daily basis against different tasks. Activate project portfolio management. In order to activate project portfolio management applications in ServiceNow instance, you need to activate PPM standard plugin. That is the name of the plugin. Once you activate this plugin in ServiceNow instance, you will get these applications installed in your instance. Demand, Project, Resource, Portfolio, Project Financials, Rate Model, Time Card and Fiscal Calendar. This is my personal developer instance. Now if I go to plugins and search for this PPM standard plugin. So I'm opening the view of plugin, which will show me all different plugins which I can install or available to be installed. So here is the list of plugins. So I can just search for PPM standard. If I type that, so you can see I have already installed PPM standard plugin in this instance. And if I can quickly go to application navigator, I can show you the, those applications like demand. So here's the demand application. We have project administration as well. If I type project, I can get project administration. I also have project management application. I also have time card. So this is the timesheet application, which is basically the time card application. And even in project management, you have portfolio that is portfolio management. You also have program management that is program management in this particular module. Basically, it is available in same application that is project management. And you also have idea that is ideas. So the idea is basically innovation management application in ServiceNow instance. Roles in PPM. Before we learn about PPM applications and their features, let's see what different roles we have to manage these applications. You can assign these roles in your organization as per the responsibilities of different users. First role is demand manager who plans and manages demands and team. Demand manager can access all modules of demand management application. And the role for demand manager is IT underscore demand underscore manager. Then we have project manager who plans and manages the project work and teams. Project manager has access to all project management applications, features and functionality. The role for project manager is IT underscore project underscore manager. Then we have resource manager who plans and manages resources and team. Resource manager can review resource plans, confirm and allocate resources to task, administer skills and view schedules. The role for resource manager is resource underscore manager. Next is product owner who manages agile process and product backlog. He can move stories between the back product backlog and releases. He can create and manage epics, stories, sprints and team members. The role for product owner is scrum underscore product underscore owner. Then we have project teams who complete the task, actual task. They have access to modify few fields on the project form as well and they can update project tasks. However, they cannot create or delete project tasks. The role for project teams is IT underscore project underscore user. Next role is IT program manager who monitors and tracks groups of demands and projects. Program manager has access to all programs and also to project, resource and demand. The role for IT program manager is IT underscore program underscore manager. Next is portfolio manager who plans and tracks demands, programs and projects. 
Portfolio Manager has access to all the portfolios. He has same access permissions as a project user and a demand user. He also has budget owner role added as part of financial management, which means he can manage financial for a program or a project. The role for portfolio manager is IT underscore portfolio underscore manager. And the last one is PPS administrator, which is an admin for whole project portfolio management applications. He can administer project application. He can view and modify preferences, configurations, and setting for the project's demands, programs, portfolios, resources, time cards, agile development, and timeline visualization. Basically, almost all the applications which we have in project portfolio management suite all different applications which we have in this particular suite. So let's start with the first application, which is ideas. So here we have ideas application. Now this application is used to submit ideas by end users or different users of the organization. We will definitely have separate sessions for each different application in details about their capabilities, about their features. So this is the first application. Then we have demand application. Here's demand application, which is basically used to create demands from different users to uh, basically complete different kind of enhancements. So demand could be some kind of enhancements or implementation. It can be some issue or bug. All those things can be raised via demand management. Then we have project management. So if you type project management, you will access this application project. Under project management application, you will also find this portfolio management where you can manage all the portfolios. And you also have programs where you can manage all different programs and you have different access for these different features we have in project management. And then you have this projects where you can see different projects as well. If I click on this, it will show me all the projects available in this instance. So you can see these are all project records. And then I can show you time card. So we have timesheet basically. So this is one of the application to track uh, basically uh, the work working hours or the uh, basically the what kind of work people have done how many hours they have spent all the efforts it can be tracked in this particular application that is timesheet application ppm process flow now how this whole process works and how these applications are used to manage projects let's understand with the process flow the process starts with idea application in which users submit ideas they have to enhance or implement something in organization which is submitted via idea portal and stored in idea application idea is reviewed and accepted and then it is converted into demand now demand has its own life cycle and managed in demand application once demand is approved it becomes a project which is managed by project manager. Then resources are allocated and managed in resource application and different tasks are assigned to different resources via stories and other tasks. This is how project portfolio management process works in ServiceNow. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.